The Pacific Training Center has launched a new blindless immersion training program for people across the country. As Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, the Bowen Island Initiative is one of a kind in Canada, and so is the inspiring woman who started it. Elizabeth Lalonde doesn't let anything stop her from living the life she wants to live. The biggest misconception people have about blind people is that we can't do anything. <laughs> Elizabeth started the Pacific Training Center, a nonprofit that provides blindness skills training for adults, more than a decade ago. I've been blind my whole life, and um, I was always aware that there wasn't a lot of really positive influences for for people with low vision or people who are blind in Canada. We're gonna head out. The center recently moved to Bowen Island to merge with its partner organization, the Camp Bowen Society, which runs blindness independence camps for youth. And the center is now doing an innovative blindness immersion program. We're actually groundbreaking in Canada. So what we do is we bring blind people together from all over Canada um, to take a full 10 month program. On this device, I can, um, read Braille, um, create documents. The program teaches vital skills like Braille, how to use a talking computer, cane travel, and important life skills like cooking, using a stove, and looking after a home. I think this camp is so amazing. I'm learning a lot of new things. I really love travel and cooking are my most favorite classes. I'm keeping my hand underneath it. All of the instructors are also blind, which is unusual and very beneficial. It's more reassuring to learn from someone who has probably encountered lots of the same issues that I have. You want to pick pots about the same size as your element. And the skills they're learning are life-changing. I can do things on my own without little to no assistance and I can be free. Knowing that we're making a difference in blind people's lives is what keeps me going because it's not easy <laughs> to run a nonprofit on a shoestring budget. Elizabeth is now hoping to be able to buy a property or have one donated since their rent costs are high so more students can be helped. Seeing their confidence and feeling that magic that happens when people learn how to take care of themselves and be in charge of their own lives is, is really amazing. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.